Welcome, welcome and good morning to Madam. So today our group will present about breakfast talk to the cafe. So our uh, group member, we have Fatah Shaira binti Muhammad Fauzi, Noah Shakiri binti Sharon Nizam, Nurul Azri binti Ros Fazli, Nurul Natasha binti Rosli and Zakira binti Harun. So we are from A1. So my name is Nurul Azri binti Ros Fazli. Metro number G198 So now we will start with introduction about Tanada Cafe. So Tanada Cafe was established in December 2019 by Mr. Ahmad Muklis Mat Mayide, 31 years old. So Tanada Cafe is a dessert cafe that provides Hungarian traditional dessert fusion known as a kutakalas with ice cream. Meanwhile, they also serve kumbab, spaghetti, coffee brew, and others. And kumbab is a white menu. And for the marketing promotion, Tarada Cafe use Facebook, Instagram, Google, and Food Panda for the nearby area. So for the mission, Tarada Cafe, they back with the love to deliver and experience the taste of Hungary traditional pastry. Meanwhile, Vision, Tanada Cafe to be Lady Cafe, which offering and experience the taste of Katukalas. So that's all from me. I will pass to Asha Kirin. Thank you. Okay, before we continue our presentation, let me introduce myself first. My name is Nur Ashikirin binti Shahrunizam and my metric number is g 198 So, let's we go to the business background. So, the first one is name of business, Tornado Cafe, business address at Jalan Gucil Bayam, Kampung Darat, 15200 Kota Baru Kelantan and the phone number is 010549 and the main activity is food and beverage and the last one is type of business is sole proprietorship so next we go to the exterior interior and menu so the theme and concept for this cafe is minimalist with a simple dining concept to give warm and house vibes to the customer and the sense of realization to the customer. Mr. Ahmad wants to avoid heavy accessories inside the cafe so that's the customer only focus towards the desserts. So next, we move to organization strategies. At the beginning of the opening, the Tonado Cafe, the employees are only Mr. Ahmad and his junior from February 2020 until now. They have a total of 6 employees at the cafe. Thank you. That's all for me. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Zakira Binti Harud. My metric number is g 198 Marketing strategy for Tornado Cafe is first, marketing strategy is by introducing the dessert of Mr. Ahmad friends to get their honest feedback to make improvement before selling the dessert to the customer. The strategy used to attract the customer is by using the social media by posting picture on Instagram and Facebook as 70% of the customer are from Instagram. He also used Facebook ads that link with Instagram ads. The strategy to maintain the profit and the customer is by changing the flavor of the ice cream every week. Tornado Cafe has introduced 11 flavors up until now and the most favorable flavors by the customer are bread, velvet and watermelon yogurt. Tornado Cafe has their own uniqueness as their strategy, such as the customer can choose what kind of bread that they want and customize the ice cream with various toppings. They also provide their top selling menu which is kebab as heavy food other than dessert. There are three types of kebabs that they sell 
such as black pepper chicken, oriental chicken, and Korean kimchi. The operation strategy for Tornado KP Operation Hour Sunday until Saturday from 1 p.m. to 10 p.m. On Friday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. The production strategy is by selling the dessert according to the targets such as producing 100 to 200 ice cream every week. My name is Wati Shaira Binti Muhammad Fawzi. My metric number is G19A0015. For the financial strategies, Mr. Ahmad uses his personal saving and loan to start the cafe. He prioritizes the quality served to the customers and sets the desserts that worth the price. For the challenges, the challenge faced by Mr. Ahmad is when he tries to attract the customers because most people do not know what Grotto's color bread is and how it looks like. So, he has to show them and let them taste the bread with the soft serve ice cream. He also faces challenge during this pandemic as people are afraid to go out. So, he provides delivery service through food panda and also pick up service for the customers. For the girls, Mr. Ahmad wants to give the same experience eating Kratos bread in Hungary to the customers. He wants to give opportunity to those who cannot travel to overseas to taste the Kratos bread. For the future planning, Tornado Cafe is in the planning to open the second branch in the fast food chain. They want to sell kebab where customers can choose the filling and the sauce. They also want to open kiosk at the mall. They want to have their own branding ice cream in the form of popsicle and cup. Also, they are in planning to create royalty card, family package, serving and genocide portion of serving in the future. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. My name is Nurul Natasha and my metric number G19A 0108. So for the summary, I will summarize it uh, into four points. But before that, we all know that starting a business or a micro entrepreneurship is not an easy thing to accomplish. Various things need to be researched and taken left in order to get a business that can last for a long time. Various challenges and risks also need to be passed by an entrepreneur. Sustainable business planning also need to be prepared to face the coming days such as, as this COVID-19 season, which some extent affect the economy and the situation of the business. So the first point is plan. Before starting a business, we need to plan first, as done by Mr. Ahmad Muklis, who ran a cafe business, which is Tornado Cafe, based in Kelantan, for five months. Mr. Ahmad Muklis visited cafes around Kelantan to learn the ins and outs of the business, whether in terms of menu, staff, customer service, and more. The second point is financial management. Entrepreneurs also need to learn how to manage finances well and orderly as this financial management helps us to see the cash flow activities in our business from how much goes in and how much goes out. From there, we can determine the return of the business capital. Financial planning also assists entrepreneurs in making business travel projections so entrepreneurs can organize business strategy for the coming ones. Point number three is, is creative. The idea of the business also need to be creative, especially when it comes to product that we want to, to be featured. Tornado Cafe itself takes care of the appearance of the product by presenting it with a beautiful, cute and hipster look to attract customer. Entrepreneur also need to get need to set a target customer put a worthwhile price with the quality and quantity of product received by customers the diversity of the menu can also attract more customers 
so the fourth point is social media marketing social media involvement also helps a lot in a business journey in terms of marketing and so on moreover the current generation is more exposed to various social media such as instagram facebook and twitter for tornado cafe business by Ms. amam Chris, social media helps about 70 percent of his business which he started promoting his cafe through his instagram so overall every entrepreneur must have the courage to take risks as mr mom chris tonado cafe owner who introduced a new menu that doesn't doesn't yet exist in malaysia although the beginning was a bit difficult but it did not stop him to work harder this attitude needs to be instilled in every entrepreneur for not to be afraid to take a risk because the biggest risk is not to take any risk at all.